Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes in a picture you don't want to play too much with some of the things in it, but a useful thing you can do always is to go along to the curves. And so let's go to a circle here and go up to curves and have a look at what we've got here. Well, the first thing you notice when working with the curves here is that the histogram we got here mirrors the white histogram up there. And this picture looks a little bit dull, and that's because we've got space on the bottom here and here, same as up there. So if I take the bottom line here, which is the black, and I move it across, I'm making the start point for black. So here's my information. So I'm going to get the, get black stuff back there. It's a bit grey. And I can push this across. And as I push it across, I'm making the more things black, but leaving things up there. So I'm tilting the line here. So I've got a consistent gradient across the picture, consistent contrast change. And I can make it steeper again by tilting this one over here. And what I'm going to do is have a look at, I'm going to watch up here. I want to keep the, as I do that so it slides across, I want to keep the histogram inside the frame. So I've pushed this one too far here because it's gone inside. I can do the delivery, I can sort of tolerate some blacks in here. If that's the, the, the effect I want. See, I've got here quite a very strong uh, picture with blacks in it. But if I want to keep all the detail, oops. If I do that, do a control Z and that gets me out back to here. Let's slide that again across there. There we go into the fairly soon. I keep it in the picture and let's very carefully slide this across to the edge there. So I've now got the whole histogram within the picture and that's full contrast. Hmm, maybe I do like to see it a little bit more, a bit more dark in it. That's okay. Sometimes a bit of black is it helps to enliven the picture a bit. But now I've got this nice tilt across. If I go too far, if I go back this way, look what happens up here. See I'm burning out the cloud for this picture. That's not going to work. And this is what you do as you play. You go, hmm, doesn't work in this one, but might work in another one. So I got this about right now. I'll, I want to keep this picture like, like it is. Maybe you know, I'll let that back a little bit. But I could put an extra curves in now, so I could go back to here and go, let's have another curves on top of that. And you can do that. You can stack curves adjustments. And uh, so now if I go up here. I'm making the blacks grayer. And I come down here. I'm making the whites not so white. And as I tilt it the other way, so the gradient here is less, the contrast across the picture is less. And I can bring this right down, so this is, goes to a grey. In fact, if you make the whole thing horizontal, it goes out, goes completely grey. So, I'll tell you what you can do, which is kind of handy sometimes. I'll do this up here. And I'll bring this one up here like this, and see the way it's now disappearing. I could now write some black text across here, and this would just act as a nice sort of hazy, interesting background. And all I'm doing is keeping the line straight, and I'm playing with the tilt on it. And it's often good to do that, first of all, before you even start bending the curves and putting things in the middle, because sometimes it's just enough just to do that. Okay, and I uh, hope that was interesting something else for you to use when using curves are most powerful of tools. Okay, and thank you very much for watching.